Hey, what's up you guys? So today I will be painting a bowling ball. Well, okay. I already painted it. <gasps> Filming the interview after. Interview? Intro after. This took me way longer than I ever expected and I also learned that drawing on a sphere is really hard to keep perspective. So, I tried. So why the heck did I paint a bowling ball? I bowl. I bowl once a week. I bowl a league. Um, it is a couples league slash uh, handicap league because I'm not very good. Just gonna be honest, I have like a 125 average. I'm not very good. My husband's pretty good. He's got a like 27 career 300s. Pretty good. We have a lot of bowling balls. When I say a lot of bowling balls, I mean we have a lot of bowling balls. And I'm not even counting the ones that are kept at the alley. Cause I keep my two at the alley and then Jason keeps five at the alley. Keep that in mind when I show you these pictures of all of the bowling balls we have downstairs. What do you do with all of the old bowling balls that you just have laying around? What do you do with them? They just take up space in the basement. Jason likes to blow them up with some tannerite. Kaboom! I decided to make something pretty. So I saw online somebody and I could not find the original artist. If somebody can please help me find the original artist. Um, this woman painted this beautiful snail on a bowling ball. And I was like, that is super cute. I must do that. So that's when I spray painted a bowling ball, a black bowling ball, uh, matte white, just to have a lighter color to paint on because it was black and painting light colors over black was going to be difficult. And uh, it was also hard to record this video because I had two cameras at different angles on this sphere and neither one of them really could get where my hand was currently painting. I really, really tried and I really, really failed. Comrade, please maybe find a couple good clips of me painting. Sorry. Here it is. I painted this bowling ball into a snail. I thought it was really cute. Fingers side down so that we can sit it out and I think I think I really like it. I'm gonna have to seal it with some urethane, put it outside, lawn ornament style. But I'm I'm actually really happy with it. It turned out really cute and I shall keep it forever. And maybe I'll paint more bowling balls, or actually, I was talking to my husband about maybe painting a bowling pin. Um, so he's going to ask tomorrow, which will be yesterday by the time you see this video. I'm gonna have just a bowling alley for a pin. So if you guys wanna see me paint a bowling pin to go with my bowling ball, Give this video a thumbs up. We'll have to figure out something to match this here snail. So if you have any ideas for what I could do on said bowling pin to go with our bowling snail, leave them down below. I'd love to hear your suggestions because I wanna I wanna include you guys more. Like 
you, you guys support me and I really appreciate it and I want to be able to support you back which is why we're doing the artist of the day which brings me to the artist of the day today's artist of the day is somebody who has been supporting me for a very long time almost from the beginning when I started twitch I actually opened my discord about a year ago now and I think she joined shortly after that and we are going to give Willow some recognition or brutal doodles on Instagram. She did this cute drawing that made me very happy and I wanted to share it all with you guys and give a big shout out to Willow and thank her for being such a wonderful supporter and such a lovely person. I really enjoyed talking with her. She is just so genuine. And give her all a follow. Please tell her I sent you. And give her some recognition that she deserves. And I want to thank all of my lovely supporters that support me over on Patreon and Twitch subscribers. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do silly things like paint a bowling ball for you guys and I will catch you all in the next one. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling.